So in the past almost three and a half years since I started this very YouTube channel, I have done a lot of things to grow my platform. Of course, the very first thing I did was expand to other social medias like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, you name it, I'm pretty much on everything. And that's pretty much how it was for the first two and a half years, and then we expanded over to the Nordcast with my two wonderful crewmates, Jack and Carter. However, we're making another big expansion, but this is the biggest one yet. Ever since I was a kid playing NHL 17, and when I found out that you can make custom teams and custom players... I've always wanted to make a hockey league. And not like an online hockey league. Nothing like World of Chell or anything like that. Although I would like to do that in the future eventually. It's just not what I'm planning on doing right now. With NHL 23, I have made the N97HL. Which obviously stands for the Nordic 97 Hockey League per se. And it is actually the first of its kind to my knowledge. As of right now, it has 14 custom teams in two different conferences, which I'll get into in a little bit, with fully custom players within it. However, the fully custom players are made by the fans, mainly. So basically what you can see here is a Google form, obviously, and this is for the N97HL player form, which more or less, this is how you submit your player. So obviously you start off here with your first and last name, of course, because that's what you need. Uh, player or prospect, I thought it'd be pretty cool to make the draft as well as that. You know, custom players as well too, and kind of filter that in there as well. There's a lot that goes into this league that we definitely need to figure out. I'm only going to be scratching the surface of what we need to do in this video. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty crazy project that we're taking on. Uh, player type, you obviously have all the options here uh, from all the forward, defensive, and goaltending options. Uh, you got the general right, or the five positions, not right positions. Um, you got your number, which is 1 to 99. You got your handedness, which is like lefty and righty hand. Uh, you got your height, which is 5'7 or 6'9. I'm thinking about including pounds in there too uh, for when I initially upload this, so um, stay tuned for that. Uh, fighter as well, which obviously, you know, fights will be interesting whenever we do uh, the simulated games. Uh, birthday, kind of to keep track, you know, for the fun of it. And then also the head number too. To make sure the players uh, don't all look the same. When we make these custom players too. And I'll probably factor in as well. Um, I'll probably make a hair um, column question as well. So basically how a main team would work. So one team would have 15 forwards. So four full lines of forwards. I haven't decided between whether or not I'll have 7 or 8 defenders. I sticked with 7 for this calculation. And then 3 goaltenders as well. And that adds up to 25 players per team. And as of now, we have 14 teams, which makes it 350 custom players that we have to make. Not even including extra ones as well. So if you have ideas, if you just put in yourself there in the player form... Include other people. Put in, you know, some random name that you come up with. Tell it to your friends. Tell them to put in random names. We'll have some fun with this. Make some fun random names. The only requirement I have is don't make NHL-related players or any players that are, like, in the real-life NHL because that kind of ruins the fun of it. We want this to be a fully custom league. But anyways, with that being said, we're going to swap over to NHL 23. I'm going to preview you guys some of the teams and show you basically how the league is going to work in that sense. So basically here we start off in the NHL 23 lobby. Obviously we're going to go over to the creation zone. Starting off with create a team. And we're going to take a look at the 14 teams. Now before we get into them individually. I do want to show you guys kind of like the conferences. So you have the TikTok conference. Which I think is basically the Eastern conference. And then as well as that too. You have the Graham conference. Inspired off of Instagram. Which is basically like the Western conference. I tried to include cities that are more or less like you know. bona fide hockey cities. But I also try to go with some cities that like, you know, don't really have, you know, teams in them and aren't really hockey based kind of just to make it fun. And, you know, I'd like to include random cities besides just the generic NHL ones. Anyways, we'll get into like we're kind of going to slowly go through these teams well, slowly and fast. But like we're going to kind of go rapid fire through them a little bit. Anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into this. Starting off here with the California Demons. So we'll go into... Uh, edit team here. I will show you guys uh, the logo and the jerseys is what we're going to do. Now, California, obviously, very big state. Uh, could even, some may even say it's a country itself. 
Um, and I that's why I kind of inspired the Demons logo from because that place is just so chaotic and crazy um, with Hollywood and, you know, three hockey teams and all the sports teams over there. Uh, I figured it'd be pretty cool to have the, the Demons logo. Obviously, uh, the secondary logos, I didn't make anything. Hopefully, one cool thing we could do is, like, as the seasons move along, we can make, like, secondary logos, make, like, custom jerseys and all that. Kind of make it cool. Kind of bring um, some creativity into that. Maybe I'll let you guys decide that as well. Uh, team uniforms. As I said, I only did the home and away. Uh, some of these are going to be pretty generic. Some of these are going to be in detail if they load. Uh, looks like they're not going to load, actually. My apologies. Uh, that's been a glitch that I've had um, in my um, NHL 23 where the uniforms just don't load. So, honestly, I do greatly apologize for that. Um, we'll just skip um, looking at the jerseys. I'll just show you. I'll just save you guys that uh, for a later time. Uh, let's look at the Carolina Warriors now. Obviously, Carolina, a really good bona fide um, hockey city with the Hurricanes. Definitely a really another good alternative here for the first team in the talk conference. Um, as you can tell, I really don't need to go into the team anymore. You have the Carolina Warriors uh, logo there, basically. Uh, and another thing, too, I just want to preview this. You can see a couple players here that, you know, they're real. Okay, so, like, the generic Minnesota Wild Rod, so it was mainly what I used to kind of make this team, you know, you have to add a roster to make this team, like, available on the game. So, obviously, uh, but you can see some custom players there, uh, like Cooper McLaughlin, um, Anthony Smith, Mike Lee, some custom players uh, that my... Um that my fans made before the official announcement of this. So, yeah, those guys basically were randomly placed on this team, too. And that's also the fun part. You don't get to choose what team you get on. Some people may like that. Some people may not. But you randomly get selected onto what team you get placed on, basically. So, yeah, that's the Carolina Warriors. Uh, the Cincinnati Rockets are another fun team. Um, obviously, you know, Rockets in Cincinnati, it may not make a lot of sense, but obviously I did, I did want to implement those colors and use that nice Rocket logo there as well. Uh, I think it's a very nice concept. Th their jerseys are probably the worst in the league, though. I gotta be entirely honest with you. And obviously Cincinnati does not have an NHL team. I think they have an ECHL team if it's the Cyclones, if I'm correct, but I'm probably wrong there, uh as well. The El Paso Sun Gods, uh, obviously El Paso uh, does not have a hockey team. In fact, I don't think they have any sports teams uh, in that city down there in Texas. So definitely a good ad there um, for, you know, nice cool Dallas city. And obviously it's really sunny down there in Texas. So why not use the Sun Gods? Uh, I think it's a very cool concept. The jerseys are yellow, though. They're like yellow, yellow. So they're very bright, um, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get there, obviously. Uh, the Miami Whalers, I wanted to give a team to Miami, definitely, because I always seen them as a as a city that definitely deserved a hockey team or maybe even Florida. Uh, the Florida Panthers should really, like, relocate there. But obviously, uh, the Miami Whalers, pretty cool concept. They got the nice blue there. Doesn't really match up with a whale color, but still pretty cool design nonetheless. Uh, the Milwaukee Ninjas, another team that does not have a... Um, does not have a hockey team, uh, so obviously they're a pretty cool idea, and I figured Ninjas would be a uh, very nice idea to add. Uh, next up, the New York Empire. Um, the Empire, obviously, you know, New York, um, Empire State of Mind. I think that's kind of like really what I was referring to with that. Uh, obviously there. And another cool thing, too, is that we're using some players from, like, TikTok and YouTube to really implement this. Like, I have Michael Bartner right there. He's the captain of this team, and I think that's pretty cool making some of the TikTokers uh, captains of some of these teams. I don't think we've reached any other teams yet, though, uh, that have that, but, uh, yeah, first of those. Uh, New York Empire, I thought it was a nice concept. Uh, the Philadelphia Rams, this one hits close to home for me, uh, mainly because with the, with the Rams, obviously, um, that's actually my high school hockey team, and for those who follow, like, my my Instagram and even even some of my TikToks, you will see that I post about uh, my hockey team uh, fairly often. So obviously, I thought it'd be a cool idea uh, to make them as a hockey team. There, you can see Kevin Pico, uh, obviously one of the main players on the Rams in real life. Um, only really Penridge people or people that go to my school will really understand that. Uh, so yeah, uh, moving on now to the Prince Albert Chefs. Um, the main kind of storyline behind this is the let him cook or the let them cook uh, type uh, meme there. I thought it'd be really cool to kind of implement that. And as well as that too, storylines. 
is something else I want to do. I thought that would be a really fun concept as well to kind of look at storylines and kind of create them. Like creating a guy like Little Shetty, as you can see there on like the third line left wing. Very cool idea, uh, and I think it'd just honestly be a lot of fun to see you know some of these custom names uh, be in uh, this hockey league. But obviously, as you can tell, uh, for some of these players, they got like early access when they created these players. So that's why there's some custom players in here. There's some that aren't. Some of these I created myself, but some uh, were created by some early access people. Uh, Saskatoon Journeyman for people new who. For people who know TKD BJ Max um, on YouTube will know Max Mainville. Uh, he lives in Saskatoon, so obviously I figured that would be a pretty cool concept to make a journeyman team as well. And obviously, too, uh, Saskatoon's been calling for an NHL team for a while. Why not get an N97 HL team? I thought it would be a cool idea. Uh, you have the St. Louis Birdies. I put LeBlanc James on this team. I should have made it like an Ottawa-based team. But I did want to give St. Louis a team as well. And I also wanted to use the Purple Birdies logo. Uh, and then I also wanted to like make it a rivalry too. Where it's like the Birdies versus the... I forget which team it is. Uh, I think it was the... Oh, it was the Rockets. Birdies versus Rockets rivalry. And I thought that'd be fun. Oh, no. Sorry. It was Ravens versus Birdies would be, like, the fun rivalry. But, yeah, the Tacoma Ravens here as well. Uh, Tacoma, Washington obviously doesn't have a team. Seattle does. But Tacoma does not. I thought that'd be a cool idea there, too. Uh, create some nice rivalries there as well. Make it fun uh, when this league comes to fruition. Uh, the Toronto Swamp Dogs as well. Of course, you got to give Toronto a team. You can see myself there as well. Uh, I'm ranked number 87 overall, so I didn't make myself um, that good. But obviously, I made myself pretty solid because I don't want to be a bad player. Uh, <laughs> of course. I also tried to make it fair, make everybody pretty solid. Um, but obviously, this team has more players than others, uh, mainly because that's kind of how the, the randomization went, to be honest with you. Um, final team here, if I'm correct, yes, the Washington Bucks. Uh, Washington, I thought it would be a cool idea to give them uh, the Bucks name because obviously you see you see Bucks a lot in Washington, so I thought it'd be a cool idea, and then obviously the nation's capital there as well. Uh, pretty cool name, love the concept. Uh, they got a lot of players there as well. So I bet the question that you guys are really asking is, when is this league exactly going to happen? And the answer is. Probably not until the end of the NHL season. And if, if even that, it'll likely start in May, most likely. May of 2023 is when the first inaugural season work will occur. It really all depends on how fast I can get all of these players made and get everything pretty much made. Because i got to set up a lot of stuff uh, for this to be able to happen. But a lot of what takes place will happen here on YouTube. I will be streaming a lot of the N97HL live streams where you can kind of see me creating players. And you can also see me, you know, streaming the games live. We'll simulate a couple like CPU versus CPU and then others will just simulate simulate uh, We'll create like Instagram posts with like highlights. Uh, I wanted to make a TikTok as well I figured it'd be a really cool idea and it would really create a lot of um, You know new hockey fans honestly because this is what this is something of its kind not only has NHL content creators not done this but I don't think sports content creators have made a fully custom league with fully custom players I might be wrong but this is an idea I've had since I was probably like 10 years old so this is definitely an idea I wanted to do for a very long time and I'm glad that I finally got the opportunity to do it so the last thing I wanted to say before we wrap up this video is please make sure to go follow our other social medias. If you want to keep in touch with the N97HL, I would 100% you recommend join our Discord server with the link down below. And as well as that too, I will also have the player form down below in this video as well. Make sure to go fill out as many players as you want. Just keep filling them out. We'll have some a lot of fun with this and maybe just maybe... We'll actually make this work and we'll pull through. We'll definitely pull through, but I definitely want to have as many players to work with as possible. But yeah, this is a huge project that really no other content creator has done before. Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching. For all of your support as a later, really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure to go subscribe down below. We're in for an amazing ride. We won't see too much of this until probably next month. But anyways, thank you all for watching. The grind starts now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.